I just wanted to produce this video to really show my appreciation to all of you for supporting the channel, for liking, for sharing, for commenting, for doing anything at all. Even if you've disliked a video, I, I appreciate all the support that Expansive has had over the years. As many of you know, this was a dormant channel for quite a long time. Uh, I hadn't actually done anything with it for, for a period. I started experimenting a little bit, doing some videos, uh, and then things just got, have gone from there to here. And uh, I just genuinely appreciate all of the support. It really does mean the world to me. Uh, of course, this is one milestone. We want to try and reach many, many more. to a thousand, ten thousand, a million. Who knows where we can go from here. But I think that's the unique position that we do find ourselves in, is that DLC is not widely covered in the media and the press and in the game side of things at the moment. Some people actually kind of don't really like DLC, which is understandable. Uh, some people love it and some people like to be able to prolong their gaming experiences. I, f I actually really enjoy seeing a game grow over time. So obviously we've had many situations where a game launches, it doesn't quite hit the mark and it gets a bit of a poor reception and then it kind of gets a bit brushed under the carpet and forgotten about. And this is why I want to throw this out to you guys. Um, because Expansive is essentially exists right now because of you, because of your support, because of you continually coming to the channel and showing your appreciation for that. We've covered a lot of things that haven't really been widely covered, like the Pillars of Eternity DLC. Uh, we've been looking at the Strange Brigade DLC. We've been looking a bit about some of the Soul Calibur bits and pieces. Uh, Spider-Man, obviously, we've covered lots of little pieces of content that maybe other sites wouldn't pick up that people are coming to us and finding us for that. Same for the South Park DLC as well. Now, this is where I want to throw it out to you. So I know I've mentioned previously about doing season pass reviews. That's definitely something that I want to do. The only reason that this has not actually happened just yet is because I'm still trying to figure out the format. And perhaps that's something you could help me with. What kinds of things are you interested to know about a season pass? Do you just want to know whether or not the DLC is any good? Do you want to know if any of the extra head, uh, extra additional bits are good? Uh, whether or not the, it's value for money? Let me know exactly the kind of things you want to know about season passes specifically and they're the kind of things that I will include in roundups. What kind of content do you want to see on the channel? Would you actually like us to see us cover historical DLC? So perhaps we look back at say The Witcher for example, look at the two DLC packs for that and cover the season pass for that. Perhaps in a kind of like a, a retrospective piece, maybe even looking at last generation to see the DLC that came up for, the, for, for anything on there like the Bioshock DLC for example as it's kind of become such a massive part of this generation and obviously we're still looking ahead to all the DLC that's upcoming obviously we've got access to uh, Spider-Man which you've already seen that in Strange Brigade but we've also got access to things like Soul Calibur and Tomb Raider and we're hoping to get access to other season passes as well so we can produce prolonged content for that. You brought us to this point so I want to know the kind of content that would interest you, what the kind of things that would keep you subscribed, the things that would make you subscribe, uh, the videos you'd like to see, the things that interest you most of all. It doesn't matter what it is, just let us know in the comment section below because I would love to keep producing content that means something to you as opposed to things that necessarily are just specific to me. Because essentially we are, in, as I say, we're in a unique position where we can grow this channel together because we can make this what we want it to be. And perhaps that extends to content updates. Like if we look at games like Warframe, massive content, free up content updates drop all the time. Would you want to see those sorts of things covered on the channel? Because the nature of DLC has evolved substantially since the beginning of this generation. Like we had, we were still doing things in just the conventional season pass way. And that was essentially what DLC was. But now it's evolved to loot boxes, microtransactions. It's evolved to just free content updates. The industry as a whole is evolving all the time and it's with that, we need to evolve. We need to understand how to cover things going forward. Would you be interested in live streams, for example? Would you want to see me live stream DLCs as they release or even live stream all the DLCs? Perhaps you'd like to see me live streams from Gambit, from Destiny or Forsaken, just looking at some of the story and the content of that or just playing some multiplayer. Even looking at MMOs like the Elder Scrolls Online and World of Warcraft when, when they have big updates for that. And I, would you want to see those kind of updates? I'm, I'm just interested to see the kind of games that you'd like to see covered on this channel going forward in the next six to 12 months. And beyond, of course. Uh, but that'll do it for now. I just wanted to leave this video there just again to say thank you for the 500 subscribers. Thank you very much for watching as always, and we'll see you next time.